I did a couple tests that I want to show you right now. Okay, these are the four pieces that I wanted to try out for the absorption test. Uh, this piece right here was one of my 365 day cups. Yes, I still have it. It was cup number 320. I want to see how well these turned out back in the day. This one right here has crazing on it and I'm almost certain it was an ill-fitted clear glaze on top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and test that as well and see how much that is absorbing. This one is a fine china, I don't know if I'll turn a uh, fine porcelain china Yorkshire made in Japan. So this is one I had in my cabinet that I think I'd like to see what a commercially made piece, uh, what the absorption rate is on that. And this right here is one that I just wanted to test. Uh, and I thought the message on it was pretty nice. Live life uplifted. And I'm going to go ahead and weigh each one of these to see what their start weight is before I put them in the water. It took me a long time to figure out and to find the guidelines of absorption for the dinnerware that we actually even get from the stores. I thought, just give me something technical so I can share it with you. So the guidelines that I got were earthenware, has a typical absorption of 5% to 14%. Stoneware is 2% to 6%. Porcelain can be 1%, I'm gonna say 0.5% because I read a technical one that said 0.5, so I'm gonna say that, 0.5% to 3%. Something fascinating I'm noticing about this piece right here, it was already crazed. I don't know if you can see it, this guy right there. Um, I'm noticing how much more crazed it is in the handle. And I'll try and zoom in here. Um, it's just really, really crazed. I can't wait to see how much it weighs when we're done and how much water has actually been absorbed to it. I've had to add water a couple times to keep the water level up. But now I'm, it says to let it cool, so that's what we're going to do now. Okay, these cups were dried. They were left to cool at room temperature, and I'm ready to remeasure re them. This is an Amico stoneware, number 38, fired to cone 6. I went back and I looked. So everything was fired properly on that. This is an Amico Versa clay, which is theoretically an earthenware, but I take it to cone 5. But there is crazing on it, so I'm unsure of what kind of result I'm going to get here. The China cup is commercial. It should have almost no absor uh, absorption whatsoever. We're looking for 2% or less. That brown clay behind the China cup is made to fire between cone 6 and 10, which I find hard to believe. Hopefully it does well. This was fired to cone 6. If it absorbs water, it means that this clay really is not vitrified at cone 6. I'm real excited to know that my 365 day cup that I did nine years ago was actually safe and it passed everything I did properly back in the day. That makes me happy. Uh, the happy character cup, um, yeah, have a little bit of a challenge with that. It almost made it. It's 7%. It could have been the crazing, but I bet you if I had a different clear glaze on there, then that earthenware at cone 5 may have made it. Uh, the China cup obviously passed. It was 0 .002. You can't see that number, but it has um, basically 0% absorption. Now that uplifted cup is really eye-opening because that means that that clay is not vitrified at cone 6. So when you have big ranges like that, it's really probably vitrified at cone 8 to 10, maybe only 10, I don't know. But I shouldn't be making cups with that and expecting them to be safe. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is leaching. Leaching is the opposite of absorption. Leaching is when it sucks the impurities out of the form. So it's important not to have leaching because acidic foods, coffee, lemons can suck the impurities out of you know foodware i'm going to show you the leaching test on my world market plate set
Okay, I had put the lemons on the plate, squeezed the lemon juice and let it sit overnight as the directions said, but when I rinsed it off, I noticed that these plates actually absorbed and held onto the water. I had rinsed them and dried them maybe five minutes before that and these weren't even dry yet. So that one was a questionable piece. I wasn't sure if I saw anything, but from here it's still wet, but I still can see where the lemon was. So part of me felt like these were not safe plates to eat off of. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It is from World Market and I'd love to know what you think. Bottom line.